If you try it, also. If you try it, hmm. I hope I'm not the only one that notices how much Ozo really loves Nengi, thereby making him jealous over every little thing. Hello guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Vicky and if you've seen me for the very first time, hi! Please consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And do not forget, most important, to click on the notification bell so that YouTube will inform you whenever I post a new video. And please guys, this is a shout out to my personal channel. Please go check me out at Vicky M channel. There I post videos on family, lifestyle and vlogs and every other thing in between. If you really want to know more about my personal life, no be only this I'm about Tatafo and Aprokonaya Sabidu. I Sabidu so many other things which you will see on that channel. Please, the link is always in the description and pin in the comment section. Oh, crrr, guys, get yourself a man like Ozo because the way Ozo is showering Nengi with love and attention, even me where they are, don't they jealous? I don't they be like, say, ah, before we just start talking about the whole jealousy thing and all that, yesterday, Ozo brought breakfast in bed for Nengi. Like, Ozo has really, really been sweet to Nengi in some sort of way that I really feel this mushy, like lovey dovey kind of a thing. He brought breakfast for her in bed and she just woke up and took. The breakfast. Guys, did you see how sweet Ozo was to Nengi? Like seriously, that guy really, really loves her. And then yesterday they were having a conversation. You know, um, Nengi has actually loosened her hair, and the whole Afro thing of her hair is pop. Like, let's just give it to her. Nengi's hair is really beautiful. Like, I'm sure I'm, sure I'm not the only one that admires that hair. So the whole guys in the house has really been admiring. Uh, this hair. You really like this my hair. I told you. We, I, the very first I saw you with this. Hair. No, that period we're not even talking. That was like a good one, yeah? We're good. not talking, actually, we're just sneaking now. I know that was the day you, you bring it to yourself now. Huh? Yeah, we're not talking. I remember you were wearing one rainbow like stuff. You had like many colors, like mixed colors and stuff you were wearing. It. And Ozo went ahead to actually say that with the kind of hair that Nengi has, that means contraceptive will not be working in that house you guys <laughs> also really have plans like seriously i really <laughs> the way they are going also is thinking far more than what nengi is actually thinking hey, like this family plan also rest like this one, huh? rest of the carriage every day i feel you i feel you you be like, you be like, hey, uh, uh, you be like, why is your mommy always pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> and then they went ahead they, to, uh, for their tax the whole of yesterday. They were just having their phone and all that. And I don't know what Ozo was actually saying, you guys. And then he had to, when they came back, he had to query Nengi. He said that Nengi was actually winking at Prince. Like, you know what I think? I think tell me, tell me, I'm like. But I don't know what you're talking about, first of all. You said you saw me looking at saying how. Huh? Is it what? Like the one we're doing here has also. No, no, I didn't realize that I, I'm, my mind wasn't even there. That's what I mean, you, you smiled at me, you did like this. So that was probably for Kilo or for Lacon. Like, the jealousy is top notch. They did not show us that part, but they keep having. They've had a conversation about Prince and the whole maybe Prince trying to get into their relationship for there to be some sort of triangle or the other. And Nengi was like, "I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you saw." Well, I was not winking anybody. If there is anybody I was winking, then it has to be you. I'm like, girl, <laughs> your head did there. You know that kind of a thing. Yeah. Then it was for you. It wasn't for me because like we're not like. And we're not saying that each other. Nah, nah. Has to be for you. Or someone else. Or someone else. Wait, I don't understand. 
<laughs> I'm sorry all these things are coming from. That's why you're seeing things. I think Negi is beginning to like us or Negi is beginning to give us some sort of attention. Negi is beginning to like loosen up a little bit because sometimes you just see us giving Negi a peck on her head. And I'm like, yeah, that's it, you get. So also is just feeling some sort of insecure in some sort of way, you get. Because he's saying that he doesn't want to be in a triangle. And I'm like, guy, relax. First of all, Nengi has refused to officially say you guys are an item. And maybe you like her and you too, you've been in some way trying to be protective of yourself, you get. But I feel like also really, really likes Nengi. I don't know if I'm the only one feeling that way. But I'm sure, I'm sure I am not, you get. And then moving on, guys. Lucy was was seen today crying after their um, exercise in the morning. She said that the whole of this tax is very very difficult for her because it brings memory of she of the two have two favorite housemates in the house. I think in person of Katharina and Praise. I don't know. People criticize me. They just keep bringing back sad memories. I really don't like it. Neo was trying all his best to actually encourage her, trying to make her understand that she would be all right, and she kept saying that the tax seemed to be like the most difficult tax for her even though last night she was just indifferent after they had that misunderstanding which i dropped a video about it which she was like they keep telling her to come and do something you see her being laid back like i felt like she was angry or she wasn't really happy or she's just being difficult like she normally is but at the end of the day i just feel like maybe that's not what that is not her intention per se maybe she's just feeling as in the memories of her friends are actually coming back to her and i know i know that one thing you have to know they know die they just go out now game on come all of them go do that house at some point everybody has to go for somebody to win so i hope i know she's always feeling neglected or she's always feeling like she doesn't belong there and i think the two people that really that actually made her feel some sort of secured are out of the house and it's really making her feel bad about the whole thing so that's just basically it i just felt to come and update you guys i know they won't make on a lack any news for big brother niger house as in whether you they watch this show or not you just rely on me because i did here as your number one i'm a boy a proko tatafo a sherry anyone where you call me on top of youtube based on big brother niger season five show guys are they here to give you the news and i will give it to you back to back like seriously waiting waiting my work now i work with this now talking be my work so i go to talk more they entertain now they try to keep on a up to date for those of them off now when they work i hope you enjoyed this video please if you do give it a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section i really do love to read from you guys and please Go check me out on my personal channel. The name of the channel is Vicky M E M. The link is always in the description and pinned in the comment section. There you will know more about my personal life. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I really, really, really appreciate it. And please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. I will most definitely see you guys in my next video.